you're saying basically what what structure do we have in place for somebody when they come in? If they in like if they homeless or things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to Psalms 119 and 9 and then give me um uh, I want the one where it says uh alms have we none but the word. Yeah, and ask, give me that. All right, so that's a great question. Um, we get into that level of infrastructure in the, in the future. Right now, we're not to that level now where we can house uh, homeless individuals, where we can deal with brothers and sisters that have drug addictions, and so on and so, so forth. But those are things that we want to get um, instituted. Read that. The Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So the scripture asks, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So this going back to your question. What do we have set up for these individuals when they come in out of these situations? Read. By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. So the first thing they must have is they must take heed to the commandments. Because we can, the structure that Esau has set up today, they have all these different fall safes, uh, fail safes for individuals coming out of that situation. They have rehab centers, they have homeless centers, they have uh, food pantries, so on and so forth. But yet we still see our people in the same conditions because they haven't changed their minds. So spiritually, we gotta, we gotta attack their minds first and foremost. Because I can give you all the help in the world, but until you change your mind on things, that money, that house, that food, it ain't going to do nothing until I can get into your mind. That's why we go out and teach the people the word first. Because until they change their mind, material things ain't going to do anything. Read that all the way through. Verse 10. Yep. No, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh -huh. By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. By taking heed to the word. So we understand that is the, the biggest development that we're going to teach and implement first which is our people taking heed to the commandment. Now, once they do that, we do have things set up inside the body when you are around and you are of good report that we do take care of brothers and sisters right. when they do fall on hard times. We pay, we pay lots of brothers' rents, car notes, right. and all that different stuff. We, we, we do all that once brothers and sisters are in the body. We don't just go out there and put a sign out, hey, come here and get your rent paid. That's not the order that was set up amongst the disciples and that we, we follow today. Give me that in um, Chronicles where it says, shall we uh, help the ungodly? Um, 19 and 2. Yep, 19 and 2. And that's scriptural. And then give me one in Sirach, Sirach 12. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 2. Uh -huh. And Jehu, the son of Hanai, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly? Shouldest thou what? Help the ungodly? So the, the, he was asking them, should we help the ungodly? We understand our people in the state that they're in before they repent, they are in a place of ungodliness and in sin. So our help is pointless because like I said, we can give you the material things, but if you're not taking it and applying it with a uh, spiritual mindset, you're going right, to find yourself right back in the same situation. If I give a drug addict a hundred dollars, even though he need to pay his rent, he's gonna go buy drugs. He's not gonna pay his rent. You understand? All right, read. Shouldest thou help the ungodly uh -huh. and love them that hate the Lord? And do what? Love them that hate the Lord. Read. Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. So the most I don't like when we do that. Go to Sirach twelve. Sirach chapter twelve verse one. Uh huh. When thou wilt, when thou wilt do good. Known to whom thou doest it. This is something that the Christian church does not do. Read that again. When thou wilt do good, known to whom thou doest it. So the scriptures tell you to know who you're doing good unto. Um, Esau, a lot of times they put out videos and they just go out and they just hand out random, random funds or they buy somebody a house. Scripture says know who you're doing good unto. Because you might be rewarding somebody that's the biggest <laughs> sinner that's a rapist, that's a murderer, that's covetous, that's a theft, all these different. So you want to know who, you, who you're doing these things unto. All right, read. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Right, read. Do good to the godly man. Do what? Do good to the godly man. And that's what we do. We do do good to the godly man. Like I said, when brothers and sisters within this body that are, that are, that are around, that do stuff, we do take care of them when they do need help. Read. And thou shalt find a recompense. Uh -huh. And if not from him, 
Because yeah. even if that individual does not rethink you, read. And and if not from him, yet from the Most High. Yet from the Most High, because the Most High pleased that you taking care of his flock. You understand that, bro? Huh? I, I said, even if, even if you don't want so even if it was a lawsuit that didn't know, you know, they was, well, lost. They were thinking something else and going, well, basically, they would, you know, like, say they was, what, like, so-called Christians, or, you know, and they were thinking that way and they were lost. <coughs> what about, did they want to help from us? Yeah. Well, you, we, you read the scripture, right? Yes, how you nod in your head? What did the scripture say? Yeah, no, nah, I was. Oh, man. I, 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 I heard what he was just reading. <clears throat> okay. And. I know it seemed it seemed harsh, but that's the reality of it. Because the scripture say we gotta lean not lean not unto our own understanding, because that's what we grew up in. But when you get into the Bible, it makes it plain as day. Now we are getting to a level, like I said, where we are going to do certain things to help brothers and sisters that are on the outside. For example, we've been doing the outreach program as far as cleaning up the communities. Okay. See, um, I'm talking right. About like, that, right? Like, like, like people that don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, they might have been misled right. in thinking something else. Right. So they, they, they don't have the same understanding. No, that I get that. Have. So they lost, but they thinking that they doing good them, but actually they and you know, down the wrong path. Right. And you know how you you, you uh, prove prove them? You get it in the scriptures. But would you still help them though? If they listening, if, if they listening to the, to the word and they come around, yes. And if they did, then they, they can go around with the rest of the world. Right. I let the world take care of them. Let me just ask you this. No, no, before you go. Let me ask you this. If if you're in a company, say you work under Walmart, right? And you flick off Walmart, you throw off your Walmart badge and walk out. And then you say, hey, I need help on this. What do you think Walmart going to do? <laughs> exactly. We get that. We get it. But then when we come into the Bible, we think it's... We, no, no, you see, no, that, that, I don't, me, myself, I read it three times, and uh -huh. the first two times I read it, I cried. Right. And, um, uh, it was, it was really rough. Read again, read verse 12 again. Sirach, chapter scripture. 12, and verse 2. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high, there can no good Come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Key read. Give to the godly man. Give to the who? Godly man. Come on. And help not a sinner. So that's why, yeah, you see, yeah, see that? But see, he said help not a sinner because we don't know what, they not trying to change their life. They not trying, they may be not trying to repent. Now you do have brothers and sisters that come off the street that's trying to repent. You said what? You you want to say that? No. Nah, um. That mean then you going to help nobody because all people are sinners. No, that's at one. Some point. In time. No, no. Yeah, at some point in time. Yeah. But guess what? Say okay. I'm trying to put this over relate. Okay. Say for instance, right. I was okay. I, I'm a dope dealer, right? I was a dope dealer selling crack to my people, right? <laughs> I was a murderer, had a pistol, going around. I I shoot somebody, kill somebody. So now I now I I get a flyer, then I come up in here, and then. I just murdered somebody, but then I tell them, hey, I need, hey man, I need some place to stay. Or I need, I need some place to stay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, they give me some money. I don't even do what I say I'm gonna do with the money because I'm a sinner. My mind ain't on repenting. That's one situation. I shouldn't help that person. But say for instance, that brother was selling dope, doing his thing or whatever. Then he, he had a mind to come back to these laws and say, you know what, I really want to keep these commandments. And then he started coming, he started proving himself, keeping these commandments, he started changing. He started no longer be a dope dealer, get a regular job. You know what I'm saying? He's not whoring the sisters out. He want to get married. So you look at that and he say, oh, that brother repented, meaning he come back to the Bible trying to keep God's commandments. So now you can begin to help that brother. You see what I'm saying? But you can't help a brother that ain't trying to repent. Or in other words, just trying to run game. You know how that is when your uncle, hey man, let me borrow, let me borrow twenty dollars, man. I understand. What you see what I'm saying? So okay, I'll praise.
but you would sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.